Hello my dear students, uh, here we are uh, for the discussion on structure analysis. Uh, in this video, uh, we are going to cover the important aspects of structure analysis that uh, you must focus on. So, I am Vivek Gupta, XIES and uh, I meet Swami my colleague uh, Mr. Swami Gupta sir, uh, who is very experienced and renowned faculty of uh, MedEasy. In structure analysis, the more first thing that I want to tell you about the study material. Study material is very important for the every subject. So, on which study material you have to focus on, now you should concentrate. First one is class notes. Class notes is very important. So, prepare your class notes properly and then for practice purpose, you can go for previous year question paper and workbook. That is uh, very good. And uh, if you want extra questions, then that will be available in test series. And uh, for extra knowledge, you can refer some good books also like uh, uh, R.C. Hivler that is foreign author book easily available in Indian market also. And one and more book sir. Analysis are, of uh, Structures uh, Volume 2. Uh, that is Vajrani also. Vajrani and Ratwani. Vajrani and Ratwani. Out of uh, all the things, for most important thing is your class notes. After the class notes, after you attended every day the classes, half an hour at least you must uh, revise whatever we have taught. We give you the complete uh, picture of the structure analysis. Without every day, you must refer at least uh, half an hour. Otherwise, uh, you will tend to forget. And you also must concentrate on your test series, and also your um, workbook, and the material we supply, and also online uh, series. You must, uh, without absence, uh, you must attend the series uh, exams. Then you will know where we are you are standing among the student, your understanding, your confidence levels will build up once you uh, attend the test series. And now important part is weightage also sir. So, mm. weightage I Weightage think. actually in gate uh, you will get around 4 to 6 marks and in the prelims exam around um, 20 marks you will get and in the mains uh, conventional exam around 60 marks you will get uh, from the structural analysis. One more point I want to add, nowadays students are preparing for competitive examination based on weightage, but uh, they should not focus in this way yes. because if you miss a single mark, then your rank will be yeah. suddenly fall down. Your so, you should, should focus not focus uh, on the weightage. weightage. You have to cover each and every subject. The important part is that uh, easy portion you must cover in each and every subject, yes. difficult portion you can leave if mm. you are not able to cover that in last moment. Mm, so, yes. that uh, you can leave. Now, apart from this, I want to add what is different in a structure analysis as compared to other subjects. And definitely, each and every subject is important, but in a structure analysis, something is different that I want to point out. A structure analysis that is completely conceptual, there is nothing to remember, yes. isn't it? Yes. So, in a structure analysis, you do not have to remember anything, just you have to focus on concepts. So, uh, attend the class properly. Now, important points in a structure analysis, um, important concept. First one is free body diagram. Free body diagram is very important and that is generally covered in uh, uh, strength of material. Then, SFD, BMD and deflection, that is also part of uh, strength of material and we discuss, uh, we use that, not discuss in a structure analysis class, we use that very frequently. So, you must be very comfortable before coming to a structure analysis class in these topics. Then, apart from that, uh, sign convention. Sign convention makes uh, little bit uh, difficult a structure analysis because the students are in general not very comfortable in sign convention. But if you want to learn a structure analysis completely and you have to be very, if you have, if you want uh, to be a strong in a structure analysis, then you must focus on con sign convention, where you have to take positive, where you have to take negative and all. Finally, and, uh, the thorough understanding of your free body diagrams, SFD, BMD, how we draw the deflection curves, what sign conventions we have to take, these are all the prerequisites for uh, complete understanding of our structural analysis. In general, sir, I have found that uh, students are very poor in visualization. They yes. do not understand if we apply force on the structure, then how will it deflect? That is very important part because understanding of deflected shape of the structure that is also called as elastic curve. So, you should be very comfortable in that. Then only you can understand the sagging, hogging, positive, negative direction of force and all. Yes. Now. Uh, now, we are going to 
um, now we are coming on the chapters of uh, structure analysis. So, first chapter that we are going to discuss about is trusses. Is a, in first we discuss about the trusses. In these four topics, we take analysis of uh, determinate trusses. We use method of joints and method of uh, sections. And how to find uh, members having zero force, we discuss in this one. That is very then, important part. Sir. Mm, then Member the, having zero forces because many objectives are from there. Yeah, many questions come from how we detect quickly having zero forces. Then we find uh, deflections in uh, statically determinate trusses. We use the Cassie-Glenos theorem two or uh, strain energy method. Both mean the same. Questions generally every year one question comes uh, from the deflections part of it, and also how to find members uh, having forces. zero force and analysis of indeterminate structures, uh, indeterminate trusses especially. The basics, the fundamentals of indeterminate truss analysis is required. Uh, the questions come on the understanding of uh, how we solve the problems, only simple questions they ask you for one mark or two marks questions. Then we take up the influence line diagrams for the trusses. When the loads are moving on the truss bridges, how the members get influenced, how they get affected by the moving loads we draw by using uh, Muller's uh, principle. So, questions come on this one around one question will definitely come on how you plot or how you how the influence forces line influence line diagrams for the members of the trusses they ask you. That we will discuss on that part. And uh, after uh, truss and ILD, we are going to, we are coming on analysis of uh, structures. So, in general for objective purpose, uh, questions will be asked from the uh, static indeterminacy one only because you cannot solve st uh, any structure with a static indeterminacy two in objective exam. So, only DSI one will be asked in the uh, objective exams. So, in general, we solve these type of problems by two methods. First one is a method of consistent deformation that is very important for solving objectives and the second one is a strain energy method. So, till now we have discussed three chapters. First one is truss, ILD and third one is analysis of statically indeterminate structures of degree of a static indeterminacy one. These three chapters are very important for the objective purpose and many questions are from this portion only in the objective exams. Now we are coming on next chapter that is slope deflection and moment distribution method. So, slope deflection is the first method and uh, moment distribution method is derived from their slope deflection method that is basically successive approximation of slope deflection method. Sir, if you want to add. There we in the slope deflection method uh, and moment distribution method put together. Um, one or two questions will come every year and they ask you very fundamental questions only, thorough understanding of slope deflection equations and how moment distribution method comes is required only. No uh, lengthy calculations will be there. You should understand the concept of stiffness factor, carry over moment, carry over factor and the distribution factors. Only on these fundamentals they ask you, thorough understanding is required. and um, numericals the uh, based on the uh, analysis based on the symmetry we take the advantage of symmetry of the structure and uh, solve the problems quickly in moment distribution method slope deflection method one question will come from this one for two marks question and in the conventional uh, 20 marks question or sometimes 30 marks questions nowadays they st they are not giving 20 marks question for sure will come from one of these two topics I have seen sir every year at least one twenty marks question either from slope deflection and yes. moment distribution will definitely in the conventional exam. Yes. And if you cover only three topics like a stiffness and a second distribution factor and carryover fa factor, then many objective questions you can solve from the slope deflection and yeah. moment distributions. Correct. Clear. So now I am coming on cable structure. Nowadays cable structures are becoming important. Uh, it is the basic the characteristic of the cable is that it can only take uh, tension and uh, they ask you very fundamental questions on the cables or so, two question two marks questions one question at the most will come. In the 10 marks uh, question also can come till now around two times they have asked for 10 marks questions. 
but uh, the cables also relatively important fundamentals are required fundamentals of understanding how the uh, cables behave now i am coming to arches no doubt arches is a very easy part of the structure analysis so we can simply divide arches in two parts first one is three hinged arch and second one is two hinged arch three hinged arch is a statically determinate structure so everything is very easy you have to calculate support reactions and uh, normal thrust. diagram normal thrust all these things you have to calculate so there is nothing difficult in that and major questions are from three hinged arch only now come to the two hinged arch two hinged arch analysis part is relatively difficult more calculative but uh, basics of two hinged arch may be asked in the objective but analysis of two hinged arch will be covered in the conventional only yeah 20 and marks uh, questions come from many that. questions have been asked till now around uh, three or four times uh, arches questions have been asked in every examination like civil service engineering service all now we are going to uh, matrix method of structure analysis in the matrix methods also they ask very fundamental questions only we do not have to study in depth the matrix uh, a 6 by 6 matrix like that we do not have to derive at the most a 2 by 2 matrix they will ask you in the question in the questions or a stiffness element or flexibility element only they ask you very fundamental questions very basic understanding of matrix methods is required in this one one question comes from matrix methods of structural analysis that will find the fundamentals only in the conventional questions 10 marks or sometimes 20 marks question will come that is also very fundamental in nature 6 to 7 minutes time is required to complete in the conventional but in prims very simple means 20 30 seconds you can complete the problem mainly preparing a stiffness matrix stiffness and element matrix. yeah that is more flexibility like method and uh, matrix stiffness matrix method we have to study in this one even sometimes they don't ask to create complete matrix, matrix. they ask Simpl only one coefficient Sim one coefficient like they f1 one f1 one one or k11 one one like yeah that. so That's around 6 to 7 hours we will spend on this one very fundamental things are required for that now I am coming to recently added topic that is structure dynamics. This topic is com this topic is only in the engineering services examination. No other exam cover this uh, topic. So you have to focus this portion only for the engineering services prelims. In uh, as I think, no question will be asked in convention from this topic. So you have to cover this part only for the prelims purpose no doubt a structure analysis is a structure dynamics a structure dynamics is very vast but only few portion of that you have to cover for the prelims so mainly two topic first one is free vibration free vibration it means there is a structure and you have displaced the structure then it will start vibrating so what is the effect what is the equation of motion first year engineering mechanics what you study in dynamics that mechan simple harmonic motion simple harmonic that motion. knowledge is sufficient to answer our uh, dynamics questions in the engineering services we do not have to study in depth the introduction to your structural dynamics like uh, free vibration as sir was telling free vibration and free vibration with damping okay a single degree of freedom is sufficient single degree itself. of freedom is sufficient no need mm. to go for multi degree of freedom mm. definitely in a structure dynamics paper multi degree of freedom is also present but uh, for examination purpose you have to focus on single degree freedom yes only. and we want to for again emphasize on how you should prepare you must attend classes regularly on each day once class is over at home half an hour revision is required without the revision you will find it difficult and test series, I am again emphasizing, you must attend the test series, online test series you must attend. During the class work, after, during any doubt you get it, during the break period or after the class is over, we are ready to help you. And if you, offline, if you have any doubt, we can, we have Facebook plus plus, media, this media help also we can take it. Then the club, books material, the material that we supply that uh, workbook and uh, material cl class material that we give you you should be thorough with that then textbooks reference books as sir was telling Hebler and uh, volume 2 
analysis of structures, Vajrani and Ratwani. They say, if you find time, you should refer them. It is a uh, requirement for that. And once the classes are over, you will feel that uh, you have learnt uh, completely about the structural analysis. After 60 or 65 hours, we spend on that. All the best. At last, I want to add only one point. A structure, in a structure analysis, there is only one thing and that is concept. Nothing to remember. If you understand the concept once, you will never forget that. So in this way, you should proceed off for the structure analysis. Thank you.